Hello, Bermuda. I recognize that there is considerable concern in our community regarding today's demonstration at the House of Parliament, activity which prevented members of Parliament from entering the House of Assembly. And these actions prevented MPs from conducting the people's business. Though there have been ongoing discussions with various bodies, at this time, a resolution has not been reached. But no, that government is actively working to find a resolution in the best interests of all of Bermuda. During the course of the day, a government delegation met with representatives of the protesters to discuss the bill. We believe we put forward reasonable proposals on the table to break the impasse, but our opposites could not get the support from their respective stakeholders. At this point, I can only say that we will continue to work through this challenge to bring about a satisfactory conclusion. The proposed legislation that lies at the center of today's protests, the Bermuda Immigration and Protection Amendment Act, is intended to achieve three important purposes. First, it will end unjust regulations that have divided families and left in limbo people who were born here or came here at a very young age. Second, it will extend membership into our community to people whose families have been living and working with us for decades. People who've been vetted, approved, and renewed by succeeding governments for their continued residency and employment. They are people we know personally, neighbors, fellow workers, and relatives who have proved their commitment to our island over time. The third purpose of the bill is to strengthen and protect Bermuda's economic future. Bermuda is facing a demographic crisis that's caused by the fact that Bermudians are dying off faster than we are being born. And this trend, if not reverse, threatens our ability to support the health insurance and pension plans that so many Bermudians rely on. Already, public pension and health insurance schemes are underfunded by hundreds of millions of dollars. It is a situation that must be turned around. Bermuda, in short, needs more people to support our economic system. And the Pathways Program will help us all achieve that. It will stabilize our ability to grow into the future, keeping people and families here to grow and invest in the island, and to pay into those vital programs that protect the social services that support all Bermudians. Essentially, it is a step for the long-term economic health of the Bermudian people. This is what we are trying to achieve with this bill. It is not about diminishing birth rights or cultural identity or the power to vote. Rather, it is about making sure we work together effectively and inclusively to build a strong economy that can support the Bermudian people going forward. Finally, this government is working hard towards an economic recovery that extends into every Bermudian home. In the meantime, I want to urge everyone to exercise patience, tolerance, and respect for one another. Be assured that your government will continue to reach out in an effort to find a solution that works for all Bermudians. Thank you for your understanding. Have a pleasant evening.